Greetings, Keishlings. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of the, as it's being called here, um, Samurai and Shogun. It's a Rick and Morty thing. I vaguely remember seeing something about it, and I wanted to check it out, so here we go. Um, I know, like, next to nothing about it other than apparently it's about Samurai and Shogun, which I guess is supposed to be replacements for Rick and Morty but then wouldn't Shogun be more Rick I don't know a time travel adventure maybe maybe they finally do time travel it's only like a five minute video so okay or they're gonna be subtitles throughout the whole movie or video I mean oh it what what the I thought it was gonna be like Hawk and Chick or whatever that or it's like a Ronin and his... Okay. Did the Council of Ricks find it? Well, wait, most of them are dead. Oh. Well, we got more Ricks, okay. Yeah, I guess this could mess with the continuity bit. Hello. WTM? Hmm. Yeah, but like Ninja Rick. I thought he was a. The, the, the just but okay, but he's really about to cash that guy. Um, but yeah, like I could have sworn that that like that wasn't really Morty. That that was like just a wood carving at one point. So, uh, the, so. Morty is the Shogun. Interesting. I mean, I so I guess the name does correlate. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's so so like '90s anime with the with the voice work here. Also, is this done in like CGI? Because like I'm noticing like some some extra dimensions for this maybe it's like a blend look at all the blood I mean it's like a Rick and Morty episode just more red than blue green and orange all that. oh <laughs> the hairs the oh no that's like the car why is Hmm. Well, oh. Ooh, right? I didn't realize it had gone into his head. Ooh! Oh! Oh, no. What the hell? Oh, God, it's Doofus Rick. As whatever the hell you're supposed to be. He needed the extra jumping height. I love it. Well, you didn't last very long. I think you were on screen for like exactly 10 seconds before you were stabbed in the head. I applaud him for being able to stand up that long. Blood, blood. Welcome to the blood fountain. Oh god, there's more of them. Of course. Oh shit! Not you! Moon Max. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell? I can't even read what that said. It was in Spanish. I love that Rick is freaking out. Oh. Oh. So that's probably eye patch, dude. Or eye patch, Rick. Huh? 
No? Because that one was wearing a hood. I wonder what the WTM is supposed to mean. Okay, let's see who who falls. I don't think you fell. Because this is how... Oh, right in the neck. Oh, head came off. <laughs> I applaud him for standing up with no head. They say you... Okay, you, you, it's been longer than five seconds. And so you... you you're sleeping now. Um, okay, and it's just... The end. <laughs> oh, that, that was lovely. I still don't get the name. Like, what made them do this? Whoop! Well, that happened. <laughs> oh, I try to click one damn thing and it just it screws up on me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, what would have made them want to do this? Like, sure, it was interesting. It was very, like, 70s, 80s style, like, samurai movie, which is great. It was done pretty well. Um, but... Such a random thing to do. Hmm. Yeah. But anyway, um, a nice little cameo, I guess, with Doofus Rick. I mean, I wasn't really ever expecting to see him again, I suppose. So this is probably the only way to do that. And it's its own kind of continuity. So with the, like, the Council of Ricks and all that, you know, being, you know, offed at this point. So it, it makes sense, I guess, that... You could bring in a bunch of different Ricks and whatnot. And that's if that was even supposed to be like the Council of Ricks, I suppose. Because there's like infinite Ricks out there, so yeah. Not all of them lived at the Citadel. Uh, so yeah. Obviously, and if Season 4 indicated that with, you know, Rick constantly dying and regenerating in another universe is like... What was it? Project Phoenix? Pod thing? Anyway, so yeah, yeah, this this was all right. I the it had kind of a weird like two D three D style to it that you know sometimes it worked really well, sometimes it didn't. But that's all right. I, it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good. I. I wasn't expecting any of that, but I was also the the name was just odd to me too. So I had to check it out once I heard about it. And sorry for the delay, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> let me know what you thought of it. Anything I missed, misunderstood? Not that there was much. It was pretty straightforward, but like I did kind of like that that little cart was basically the the car. <laughs> uh, so that, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like. Just let me know your thoughts on this. Anything, like, that I might have missed, potentially. Um, let me know. Like, were there any little references that I just don't pick up on? But anyway, setting was good. Art was pretty good. All that story was simple. I mean, also theories on what the WTM stands for, you know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, check out all my other content, see what you like. Um, there should be another Rick and Morty video posted either before or after this, so stay tuned for that. Um, follow on my social medias, links down below to all of my uh, social media so you can stay in the loop for, you know, all my content and everything. Because I'll like stream on Twitch where I'm playing Final Fantasy 7 right now. And I'll tweet it out live when I go live. So, yeah. 
Uh, I'm part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. Go, so go check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. I don't know how to end this. Samurai!